for this first effect, we are going to pretend that we're going to look down at a cliff into a sea. So actually the first idea was pretty, pretty nicely done. Of course, we have this black edge around the green screen. That's something that I would recommend to use a green cloth that you can directly place against the stones. Otherwise, you have this black frame between it. It was actually pretty easily done. The weather was nice. We had some nice company as well to watch us. So that's why I decided to first clean up the place a little bit. And we also had to make sure that the green screen is on a perfect, perfect angle. So what I actually managed to do is I was able to get two stones just to make sure that it's nice and balanced. All right, so the second one is gonna be the most easy one to actually perform outside because the majority of the effort will be done in post when it comes to scaling your you know, dirt or a hole, whatever, to the actual proper angle of the green screen because of course this is not filmed directly from above so you can't just upload any regular photo, but that's just something that has to be done in post. I actually had to lay down the green screen as you can see right here and then I had to look back into the viewfinder and then an actual bee came to say hi. <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure everything was safe again so then I went back to moving the green screen just a couple foot back to make sure it's fully in the screen and then just make a shot let's say for about 20 to 25 seconds so we just have the entire screen into the frame. All right, guys, so this portal effect is pretty easy to do. I just balanced the green screen against the wall. So this is, of course, the most obvious one. Who doesn't love portals? It's very simple. Just want to go ahead in the post, make sure to key away the chroma key. Also, you want to pretend that you will walk against it and then you may want to make a still frame and then you can add in the transition and it's fairly simple to do. For this effect, as you notice, this is the construction that I made on the table. I just used something else to make the back higher. So once you set your camera down on the tripod, this is what it looks like because we're gonna pretend that we're gonna come out of the screen, sit on the very other side of the table right there. You can see that if you reach over it, the can will be taken out of the monitor. And you wanna make sure that all the lightings are also from all the angles. And then in post-production, you want to crop out the actual segment and then apply the chroma key on it, adjust it to the screen resolution, and there you have it. Alright guys, day number two of filming, I actually wrapped up a little bit earlier on that same day because it started to rain. So for this effect, the construction is going to be pretty simple. I grabbed some wood as you notice, balance it on four bricks to place the green screen underneath it, just so we have this distance so that we can key away the green part that's below us. But of course, because of the movement of the camera, it's going to follow along itself. So it's pretty, pretty simple to do. Alright guys, so the shrink effect is going to be pretty, pretty simple. So you want to make sure for this shot that you will be in the green background entirely. Also mask around yourself that the other background of the pink wall right here is gone. And then you can position it anywhere you like. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite, which one are you going to recreate and use your own. If you have any more questions, let me know down in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.